Hello, this is a short introduction to the Redevelop Tech Award in Engineering. My name is Brani Leonard, I am the Sector Manager for Engineering, Manufacturing and Automotive and I'm supported today by Howard Lober, the Principal Standards Manager for the Engineering Sector. We're going to update you briefly on each component that makes up the qualification and what changes have been taken place to, to the content and the assessment from the existing Tech Award. So the Redeveloped Tech Award in Engineering has retained the same three component structure as the current Tech Award. Components one and two are each 36 guided learning hours and worth 30% of the qualification grade. They are assessed using the new Pearson Set Assignments, or PSAs, and are marked internally by you, the teacher or assessor, and moderated by us, Pearson. The PSAs are released in November of each year and will be assessed in May and June from 2023. So you have plenty of flexibility within your programme to prepare for, administer and mark the assessments. The final component three is a 48 guided learning hours unit worth 40% of the qualification grade and is externally assessed by Pearson. The external assessment takes the form of a set task in two parts taken under supervised conditions, which is then marked and a grade awarded by Pearson. Two hours are allocated for part one of the task, with one hour 30 minutes allocated for the second part. Both tasks must be completed within the week timetabled by Pearson, and it will be available twice a year in January, February and May, June assessment series. Each assessment in the qualification is marked out of 60 available marks. Based on your feedback, we've reviewed the content of our internally assessed components, so that's components one and two. Component one still focuses on exploring the links between different engineering specialisms and the role that design plays in the production of engineering products. The component will introduce and develop knowledge and skills in identifying interconnections between engineering specialisms and departments to help identify and propose solutions to problems using different combinations of designing and modelling engineering. Component two looks at different components and products used in the manufacturing process. This includes understanding different materials used in the manufacturing process, disassembly and examinations of engineering products to then plan, reproduce and inspect or review a single engineered component. We've made minor updates and expanded content in some areas in order to facilitate and enhance the delivery and assessment of various topics. In component one, we have amended learning aim A to refer to specialisms and departments rather than sectors and products. We have also added more content to learning aim B around the design process to enable more effective delivery and assessment. We also now introduce product design specifications or PDS in this component having moved it from component two. For component two, we have made minor changes to learning aim B by requiring learners to carry out disassembly activities using a variety of practical techniques, including the use of measurement tools and being able to observe and record different features of the disassembled product. If you currently deliver the Tech Award in Engineering, the content will be familiar to you, even with the minor updates now included. We have also made some small changes to improve the delivery and functioning of the assessment for the internally assessed components. For component one, we have made the following changes. We now provide the product for task one and learners are required to investigate and explain how different departments work together to create the product. There is a greater emphasis on product design specifications or PDS, which has been moved from component two. For task 2A, learners are given the criteria to write a PDS as part of the task. For task 2B, previously a learner had to produce a range of designs which they either then produced a presentation or took part in a review meeting. Now they only have to produce a single final design which will require the use of CAD along with the rationale of their final design. For component 2, the following amendments have been made to the set assessment. For task one, learners are now given a component to investigate rather than being the provider's choice. Task two is still a practical activity, but we have reduced the number of topics that the learner has to report on. 
We have also decoupled the product design specification and moved it to component one. Task 3A now requires learners to write their own production plan based on a provided template and produce a component based on a provided drawing. From an organisational perspective, we have made the following changes. Tasks 2 and 3 can be delivered or assessed interchangeably to reduce the resource impact on the provider. And we've considered the resources available in a standard school engineering environment and reduced the types of equipment that will be required in our assessments going forward to minimise the burden on providers. For providers currently delivering the current tech award, the changes made to the new Pearson set assignments should be straightforward for providers to introduce to their new existing teaching and assessment practices. The basic purpose and nature of component three which is externally assessed has not changed. This means learners will still be given engineering briefs containing a problem to respond to, and their response should still include possible solutions to test against the brief. They will also be given an opportunity to carry out practical tests, collect and analyze data, reflect on their findings, consider any issues and suggest solutions. We've only made small changes to the content of component three. Here are a couple of examples to give you an idea of where we've made changes. So we've added a little new content in topic A2 about scientific method when plotting graphs. This is axes including orientation of the dependent and independent variables. We've also removed a little content that will never be assessed, such as in topic B1, where the words tolerances and flat comma curved have been removed. We've also amended some content to better fit with the assessment activities and explicitly identified the synoptic content. We've also made some small changes to the tasks which will improve the delivery and functioning of the assessment. So, the part one teacher's demonstration of the practical investigation is no longer required, as it has been replaced with an audio visual recording produced by Pearson. We have also refined some of the activities. For example, we've updated the part one scenario to allow learners in activity 1C to provide conclusions that link directly to the context of the scenario. We've also refined the mark scheme in places. For example, we have uh, amended the descriptors relating to activity 1C so that they now make reference to the quality of the linkage to the brief stroke scenario given. Finally, we've updated the assessment objectives to better reflect the requirements of the unit. We encourage you all to look through the draft specification, Pearson set assignments and the SAMS, which is sample assessment materials. And these are available on Pearson's website. And if you have any further questions or are preparing to deliver and need further support, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. You can contact the subject advisor Evren Alibaba by emailing teachingengineering at pearson.com or via the telephone on 0344 463 2824 and that's Mondays 9 to 5. You can also attend one of our upcoming Getting Ready to Start events early next year where we'll be covering the qualification and assessment in more depth and answering further questions. You can book by visiting the training for Pearson page on the Pearson website. Finally, we wish you well in delivering the new Tech Award in Engineering Specification and hope your learners reach their potential. Thank you for listening and goodbye.